not supposed to run, and here I look like a raccoon. You are irresistible, and you know it. Danny said I was clingy. Fuck him. He's the one with the self-esteem issues. You don't know what it's like out there, Aid. You're marrying Christopher. He's handsome, makes money. He's got great hair. Oh. You know I love animals, but this thing is so gorgeous. Isn't it? My dad almost had a stroke. But I told him, hey, asshole, I'm the one taking all the fucking risk here. I have to fake the invoices. Sometimes you gotta just take care of yourself, you know? Sure you do, honey. <sighs> oh. Come on. Let's don't keep your date waiting. He likes you, I can tell. <laughs> We got a white wine for Abe. It's another apple martini for you. Thank you, my dear. My seven and seven, and uh, nothing and nothing. <laughs> Don't listen to him, Chrissy. I think what you're doing's brave. It's not for everybody, but things are different when you don't have that crutch, you know? We make up for it other ways. <sighs> my god, it's hot in here. What do you expect? You're dancing in a mink coat. It's Fox. She's my box in a box. <laughs> Let's see her box. Or maybe her socks. <laughs> <laughs> Stupid. Well, I have to wear fur on the outside on account of being bare everywhere else. You believe this one? Oh, shit. Every place I go, I got substances I can't enjoy shoved in my face. But I guess asking you for a little support system in my own home is way the fuck out of line. You gotta have some more wine. Seem to have a good time tonight. Fuck you talking about? What, Tina? Come on, that cunt's too full of herself anyway. Cunt? She's my maid of honor, Christopher. She's no fucking maid, let me tell you. Great. Now I'm upset. See what I'm talking about? But I guess it's all my problem. I'm sorry, baby. You gotta declare all that. Most of it, anyway. <laughs> well, if you had a good bookkeeper. Hey, you got change? I'm fucking sliding a stupid bill in and out of the cigarette machine for like an hour. An hour? I bet you can go longer than that. Listen to you. Why do you always talk like a whore? Because men like it. Yeah? I think you're right about that. This girl, she's totally ripping off her employer. Probably over a hundred grand. What do you mean? Tina Francesco's her name. She's a bookkeeper for this furniture wholesaler. So she makes up vendors, but she writes some real checks. Then her father cashes them. Is that like a federal crime? How many checks? I mean, how much? Like I said, probably over a hundred grand. Tina Francesco. The father's name's Victor. It's Brett Lawrence's son's imports. 